Here's a crazy story. You got this guy, Rashad Jackson. This comes out of Pueblo. Now, they're going to say Rashad Jackson. He, they convicted him of manslaughter. And he himself had said that he had hit his wife several times. Her head hit the back of the radiator. He said that Grace, I guess was her name, was alive the night before. And so they got into a fight. But then he said that they made up. They made up. And then the next morning when he woke up, she was dead. And then when she was dead, he's homeless. So... He had met in Chicago or Detroit or something, but they got evicted. So they live in Pueblo. They got evicted. This is around Bessemer Park. This is South Pueblo. Somewhat familiar. I don't know exactly where this happened, but it's dangerous. A lot of poor people, a lot of meth, a lot of violence, a lot of thieves. And, you know, so he got evicted. And I think he's got two kids. So him and his wife and his two kids got evicted. And they they found some abandoned house they're living in. They got into a fight. And then she's, you know, dead. This is from his side. I'll read an article that points out the other side. And then uh, he is going to say that he didn't know what to do. He didn't have a cell phone. He didn't want to get in trouble for what had happened. And so he had taken the body out on a stroller and just dumped her body in the alleyway. And then a day or two went by and nobody called 911. And so he went out and adjusted the body again so somebody else would see and, you know, prop the body up. Again, nobody, but surveillance caught, you know, Rashad Jackson, uh, doing, you know, messing with the body the second time. And then eventually he just borrowed somebody's cell phone and called 911. And so do we believe him? Do we not believe him? Rashad Jackson. So that's, um, he's been arrested. He was in front of a jury. So you have, let's see here. This is what the article two years ago. So this is what had happened two years ago, Grethonia Jackson, Grethonia Jackson, 22-year-old, RIP, 22-year-old Grethonia Jackson, since this guy is going to Rasha, Rasha Jackson, Rashad, since he's going to prison, she's going to get some justice, right? It's not going to bring her back, but it, that is a good thing. It's not like, he got away with killing her and got no punishment whatsoever. So they said they found a woman who was found dead in a Pueblo alley Monday. They said that she got into a fight with her husband the night before. Her friends called her Grace Grethonia Jackson. The arrest paper said that Rasha Jackson said he hit her multiple times, backhanded her in the nose, punched her in the mouth. Documents show he also hit her while he had her arms pinned under his knees. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Jackson said he went to bed, realized she was dead the next morning. A neighbor security camera caught Jackson willing out a stroller with Grace's body in it in broad daylight around 1 p.m. Then two hours later, worried that no one had found her yet, he moved her to be more visible. Vicki Richmond, Vinico. Grace's mom said, this is shameful. This is sad and murder's inconvenient, rude, cold, vengeful, useless. It's inhumane. It's wrong. And she says, he killed my daughter. She was creative, loving, giving, stable, peaceful, bubbly, happy, glowing. That's my baby. Richmond said she disapproved of the relationship and tried to get more involved and stay in touch, even though she was living in Wisconsin. Says that uh, people are domestically abusive and violent. They're not raised the right way. He purposefully isolated her so much so Richmond didn't know her daughter was being evicted from their house. They had two children, ages one and four, who are living with them. Homeless? Fox 21 spoke to the property owner. She said they were evicted in January, and when police showed up, officers said the house was disgusting and in, in squalor. 
Now Grace's mom is trying to get custody of her grandkids. Here's a, another article. This is the update today. 24-year-old man found guilty of manslaughter after admitting to dumping his wife's body in a Pueblo alleyway. The verdict was reached on Thursday for Rashad Jackson after reports say he abandoned his wife's body, Grithonia Grace Jackson. Two years ago in an alley near Bessemer Park. So Bessemer. In Bessemer, there was, I stayed there for a year, and there was a woman who was getting beat up in the alley, just being pummeled. Her, I guess a homeless, poor, not sure what the circumstances was, but it went on for like five, ten minutes. I'm putting my shoes on, just like, God, can somebody else do something about this? Nobody called the law, nobody called the police, nobody said shit. And I went out there and I kind of smoothed things over a little bit, but I, you know, I wasn't like a tough guy. I just said, man, you know, chill out. And then later on, I'd call the police on some other shit that the guy was doing and the police basically took his side. <laughs> but I just, just remember that the woman is screaming. She's being just yelling right down the alley. Everybody can hear her. There's, you know, dozens and dozens of people that could hear this woman who's just screaming. There's a guy that got killed right there. Nobody called 911. Nobody came out and said, don't do that. Nobody said anything. There was an old tree stump that I, you know, set on fire to get rid of. They called the police on that. <laughs> so I'm glad I said something, but shit, you know, that could have turned out really dangerous. And the big thing was that nobody gave a fuck. You know, nobody gave a fuck. Nobody came out to say nothing. Nobody was going to call. Nobody, even to call 911. I mean, to just in, stay in your home peacefully. Dial 911, say some shit's happening, and then just lay low. Like, but even to do something, that's too much. That's too much to ask for. Should we, should we push three buttons on our telephone and let somebody know? No. no, let's just go. Um, I can't go to sleep. It's, you know, she's screaming. It's really loud. Just turn, turn the TV up. Come knock on my door. So, and then he, you know, he's 24. I think they made the right, you know, verdict. Not exactly first degree, second degree, kind of first degree, right? But it wasn't deliberate. It was, he's poor. He's in a, you know, he's homeless. He's having to deal with all this shit. And he, you know, does admit that he was sitting there hitting her and shit. So, and I wonder if it's possible that she could have hit, you know, the back of her head without knowing, you know, what had happened and then just went to, went to sleep and didn't wake up. Or if he killed her outright, you know, that day and night or that, that moment. He said he slapped Grace, causing her fall, hit her head on a radiator. He claims the two had a brief conversation before she lied to him. And then Jackson struck her again, this time with a closed fist. He also said that they had intimate relations before falling asleep. Then he woke up the next morning. His wife was dead. He checked her breathing, tried to perform CPR, but wouldn't, didn't want to wake the children. He claims in the video he was unable to call 911 because he didn't have a cell phone or a landline. And then in the video, Jackson breaks down into tears saying Grace was alive that night. Grace was alive that night. Medical expert testified that Grace had died of blunt force trauma to the head. The sentencing for Jackson is scheduled for April 13th. So they haven't sentenced him. He's been found guilty of manslaughter. The jury decided Jackson was guilty of manslaughter. The prosecution had asked for a second degree murder conviction. You're not allowed to murder in the first degree or second degree. You can't commit manslaughter. You can't commit negligent murder. You can't commit vehicular murder. There's five different murders you can't do in Colorado. So he's been found guilty and they're going to sentence him in a month and a half. So we'll see what sentence they give him. 
So RIP to Grothonia Jackson, RIP to Grothonia Jackson. She got a little bit of justice and you know that's uh that's better than nothing. <laughs>